morning all today i will start chapter 2 topic is roman numerals we have learned to write numbers in indian system and international place value system and for that we have used digits we can say it symbols also so the digits were 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 these are the digits we have used in indian as well as in international system but in roman numerals we will use totally different symbols here digits you can say or symbols are alphabets like i v x l c d m then how will we write the na number name or number we will learn the rules to write them each symbol shows one digit like i shows 5 sorry i shows 1 v 5 x 10 l 50 c 100 d 500 and m 1000 so by knowing only 1 5 10 how will we write the numbers so rules i am going to tell you and you try to understand it first rule is when a num smaller number is written on the right side of a large or greater number the smaller number is added to the greater number so what is the smaller number here the c smaller number is i its value is what 1 okay if we write i two times it is added to this it is it is equal to 2 if i write i three times what is the value 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2 eh, sorry 3 but we cannot write i four times got it so repetition is possible only for three times similarly we can repeat x its value is what 10 plus 10 plus 10 that is equal to 30 similarly we can repeat c that is c c means 100 plus 100 we can repeat how many times three times maximum c means 100 c c means 200 c c c means 300 and also we can repeat m maximum 3 time m means 1000 m m means 1000 plus 1000 1000 plus 1000 2000 m m m means 1000 plus 1000 plus 1000 3000 but we cannot repeat v v then l and then d Th these digits we cannot repeat got it so we can write once we can write like 10 if 15 we have to write 10 plus 5 15 we can write but 10 plus 5 plus 5 we cannot write okay 10 plus 1 plus 1 we can write this is correct but this is wrong understand so repetition is possible for which numbers or which symbols i x c and m i x c and m they can be can be repeated up to 3 times maximum maximum understand but we can say that v l and d can not be repeated understand so this is we have to find now value of these roman numerals so it is x x x means 3 time 10 we have to add so 10 plus 10 plus 10 this is equal to 
So if triple x is written, you will say its value is 30. Next is x i i. So I have told you that i can be repeated in the addition. x can be added, uh, repeated in addition. So x means 10 plus 1 plus 1. i 2 times, so 2 times 1 I have written. So its value is now 12. Then C, V, I, I, I. What is the value of C? 100. V, 5. I, 1. Again I, 1. And again I, 1. So it is 100, 5, 6, 7, 8. 108. Next is D, C, C, L, X. Value of D is what? Tell me what is the value of D? 500. Then C is 100. This C is also 100. L is 50. And X is 10. So what is the value now? 500, 600, 700, 50 and 10, 60. So it is 760. And next number is ML. Value of M is 1000. And you will add here what? L. L means? Obviously you know L means? 50. So it is? So it is 1050. So this way we write. Repetition is possible only in the case of addition, not in the sub. Note it down. X plus X plus X means 10 plus 10 plus 10 is equal to 30. X plus I plus I means 10 plus 1 plus 1, 12. Like this. So here repetition is of what? Either X or C or I. Also we can repeat. We cannot, sorry, we cannot repeat 5, 50 or 100. Means V, L or D. And we can repeat 1, 10, 100 or 1000. Means M can also be repeated. Clear? Next I will explain you second rule of subtraction. When a smaller number is written, on the left side, when a smaller number is written on the left side of a greater number, the smaller number is subtracted from the greater number. So what is rule 2? When a Smaller number is written on the left of a greater number. So I am giving you one example. Suppose 5 is greater than 1. So I am writing V or IV or VI, uh, I on the left side of the digit or symbol V. So in this case what? When a smaller number is written on the left side of a greater number. The smaller number is subtracted. Means greater number is what here? 5. And smaller number is what? 1. So its value is 4. Similarly, if I write xc. So it is greater number. And x is smaller number. It is written on the left side of the greater number. So we will write 100 minus 10. So it is 90. Like this, if we write CM, so what is the value of M? 1000 and C 100. So smaller is on the left side of the greater. So subtraction is there. 1000 minus 100, so it is 900. Like this, we can write many numbers and we have to use this formula. But here also one rule is there. What are the uh, exceptions like the symbol I? I, I am writing it neatly here. I can be 
subtracted i can be subtracted from v and x only from v and x only understood one point second point x can be subtracted x can be subtracted from look here x can be subtracted from l and c only then third point c c can be subtracted from d and m only so this exception is also there so you cannot subtract x from b or m you cannot subtract i from d or m c can only be subtracted from d or m i can be subtracted only from v and x x can be subtracted only from l and c so these are the exceptions which you have to understand and based on these two of points i am giving you questions so i am writing here you must note it down also your homework now exercise 2a question number 1 also i am going to give no i will not give you one question number 2 a to j and question number 3 also i am giving you now i think you can do a b c you do it's over today thank you